I think accolades are are accurate in depicting where you rank in your era. You know what I mean? So you could say for the era they played in, you know, um, well, let's just say Larry Bird was an elite player for the era that uh, Kobe. I mean, Kobe's gonna be elite, whatever. But there's certain players I think there's no eight time All NBA caliber player that's gonna be a bad player. Can I? You ask know you what I mean? Yeah, but my era. Well, well, wait, 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 okay, wait, wait, let me just ask, let me ask general oh, go ahead. So if somebody makes an All NBA team, what type of ranking is that? The, describe uh, that ranking. So I think I think if you make multiple All NBA teams, so if you're if you're a five six time All NBA, I think you're a Hall of Fame caliber player. Let me just see how many demoderations. No, five, six, five, Let's say eight. Let's say eight. But how many of those all NBAs include include first team? How many of those all NBAs include first team? I mean, sure, sure. Tracy, I think Tracy only hit like one or two when he still made the team. Yeah, but I mean, that's also about it's also who you're going up against, like to like to. So that's so that's the point. I'm, what I'm, yeah. you well, said yeah, ranking. Tracy was going against like LeBron and Kobe because he was, he was seasons. No, no, he was some seasons he was listed as a guard, some seasons he was listed okay. as four. So let, me, let me ask. Let me ask. You, okay, let me be a bit more specific. If somebody makes what it what is if when Larry Bird makes first team All NBA, yeah, what does that mean? What is the ranking in in '86? What does that mean? If you make first team All NBA, you're, you're you're definitely a top ten player. Probably no. a top five player. No, Devin no. Booker made first. No, 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 no. Yeah, I actually, I did. But and what you just did, Jordan was first team before. And what you did is the reason why it shouldn't matter, or if it does matter, <laughs> just get the depiction correct. When somebody makes a first team All NBA, it just means that they are the best forward or one of the two best forwards that year. It means they're right. one of the two best guards that year and one of the best centers that year. That's all that means at most. It does not mean that they are a top five or top ten player because by that logic, Jokic this year was not a top five player because he didn't make a first team All NBA, and none of us would believe that, right? I hear you, hundred percent, hundred percent. So that is, it does not mean that you're a top five, but many people describe it like you, and that's the reason why Mars goes on and says that it just doesn't matter, period, because y'all are not depicting it correctly. But even then, again, Jokic was not the second; he wasn't the second best center this year. Right, let's just be honest. No, he was the best center. Yeah, he was the best yeah. center this year. The, but the, even even yeah. these years are kind of anomaly. But just get it correct. It doesn't mean that you're a top five or top ten player. It just means that you are the best at your position or your you know guard forward center. That's what okay. But, but when you have when you have players that repeatedly when you have players that repeatedly come in, like when they're repeatedly first team, second team, right? Um, maybe a year at third team. I mean, when we start talking about like the top 10 players, I mean, a lot of those guys do have a lot of first team all NBAs, um, a lot of, you know, second team all NBAs or, or what have you. So I, I know do like we, we do this mean, thing, but, but hold on. Look, I, I, we do this thing to like, we try to like a hundred percent prove something. So like you can, of course, nothing is a hundred percent. So yes, we can pick seasons like AD miss uh, not being All NBA this year, Julius Randle making it this year. But when it's not a coincidence that like Kobe, LeBron, uh, Hakeem, Kareem, Duncan, Duncan, all these players are like ten plus time All First Team All NBA. I, I and I agree with that, but do you do you think that because Ewing I think only made first team All NBA once one time, right? If he, if Ewing played it this I year, it would be like an eight time I'm gonna say, do you not think that Ewing uh, accurate a more accurate depiction of Ewing would probably be like he was probably one of the top five to seven players, but if he's consistently making second or third teams, that may not be the most or some in, in a year not even making it. Those are those are not like there's more years of him not making first team. Then there are years of him being third and not making the All NBA team. And, and what I'm saying is that yes, of course there are going to be situations like that. But again, the people that repeatedly make these first, second teams, I think, I think there are more. They get it right more or less than they get it wrong. So I'm saying if you have people, like I said, the top tens that are repeatedly first team All NBA. They just also so happen to be the greatest players of their time you, and the greatest players of all time. Do you think Curry is a top ten player, or at least has a conversation? 
And again, you're doing like a hundred percent proof thing. No, I'm just, course, I'm, just, yes. I'm just asking. Okay, Curry only has four first team All NBA. So you think that's right? So he would be. He would be. That's, but, that's okay, that's but, but wait, 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 wait. Stop, stop, stop. But again, you're picking one play. What about the rest of the ten? The rest of the ten in there aren't they? So again, they they're, it's more. It's more. It's more right than wrong is what I'm saying. I'm not, I'm not saying that. But the problem is that then when we get to some of these players like people have been doing over the past week with Curry and Magic, they then just sit here and say, oh, he made it four times, and he made it nine, and that's why he's better. And it's like, that's not... That can't be the separate. Curry didn't make yeah. the long NBA yeah. first due to being like injured in 2018 and 2020 just didn't play. So there's... No, I agree. I, I mean, I agree. It's not just, oh, such and such made first team more, more time, so they're better. No, that's not what I'm saying. But I'm also saying that we're, if you just say they don't matter when more the, more times than not, they're the people that are first team on NBA consecutively are the best players of their time and all time, then it has to it has to mean something but, but you, that but you all of argue, them are consecutively. Yeah, that's fair. But you could argue practically every single player in the top 10 has accolades that they either received or did not receive that does not give an accurate depiction of who they are. Co- Kobe is not an 18-time All-Star. He's just not. He's not and all defensive teams. Yeah. You can put context yeah. to those, like yeah. people. But, that, but the that's but that's my point. That's my point is that these contexts are necessary. But when you start to re- understand the necessity of these contexts, then the the value of the the uh, award start to dwindle. So Tim Duncan. Okay, but low, okay. So low, lot, let's say let's say he was deal. actually let's say he's actually a sixteen time or fifteen time. I mean. We're, I think his last three are kind again. Of like, again, man, we're talking he, about we're talking about them getting it right. Fifteen of the sixteen years, or or fifteen sixteen years, no, no, I, and being wrong that. three years. I get that, but nobody doesn't go, go on TV or have these conversations and say Kobe is technically a fourteen time or fifteen time All Star. They just say he's eighteen to like to boost it up. When we all know they're like, oh well, eighteen is not. That's not an accurate depiction of like what, who Kobe was yeah. as a player. That's just not. Like nobody, sure, nobody's I mean, not yeah, I, out of their way. a lot of all time greats get they got a little gas and deserve it. Least so. Oh, that was just for you, Morris. Just for you. A lot of star players make make all star teams at the end of their career when they don't deserve it a lot. Yeah, yeah. I mean, it's just at the end of the day, making more or less arguments based off like one or two. um you know, one of these awards is just an, not a right way to uh, determine who's a better player, which is the the important thing to consider here. Because, like I like Lo was talking about, there's so much context. There's so much times in throughout history where we can see a player like DeAndre Jordan in comparison to so many other centers throughout the league. The fact that he has all be all NBA selection doesn't make him better than other centers just because he has that one award or accolade. So the, the context is the most important part here. But also the context is it is of their time though. So again, what what Lowe is saying when you're all DeAndre Jordan was all NBA what 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 year? Three times. Like three four what, what, what years? 2016. Okay. So but yeah. we've already acknowledged that it was a weak uh, that was a weak span of years for centers. So, what center in 2016 or whatever is better? Not all time, but in that year, who was better? I get that, but then uh, if we kept it, if these conversations were kept relatively, then maybe we would get it more accurate. But we all know that people are gauging players across different eras and looking at their basketball reference page. And then coming to the conclusion based off of what they see at the top of the basketball reference page instead of actually putting it into context. So people don't go into further detail. Like I had some moron on Twitch TikTok tell me about Larry Bird and the things that he did. And I'm like, bro, you you just went on his basketball reference page and just read off. You didn't actually go into any details about what happened on that specific year, what uh, his competition to gauge it against other players. You just didn't. And so, yes, it would be easier for Bird to be three time all league defensive team. Not to say he was a terrible defender, but it would be easy for him to do that in that era because if he played in this era or he played in the 2000s, he probably would not make it. Now, if he doesn't make it, all of a sudden people are like, oh, well, I guess he's a bad – but that must mean I'm calling him a bad defender because I don't think he will make an all-defensive team. That's not what I'm saying. I'm just saying he played a different era with better defenders. He probably wouldn't make it because 
as good as he may have been, he was not on the level of defensively as as Tim Duncan and Kevin Garnett and and, and Ron Artest and Bruce Bowen. He just wasn't. Yeah. yeah and you're right, you're right. 50, 50, 50, 50 years from now, 25 year olds who are going to have this debate who have never seen DeAndre Jordan play are going to go look and see those all NBA teams. Yeah. And they're going to put him at a level that's higher than it needs to be. Same thing kind of happened, I think, with the game. You know, Moses Malone, the three MVPs. I, I was a prisoner of that, too. You see the three MVPs, and you've only seen three, four games. Like, oh, damn, three MVPs at a historic level. He has to be a certain caliber of player. So, like, I, I think I don't exactly. understand. Are you, are you hating on Moses Malone right now? The greatest no, rebounding think, center ever? No, no, I would say the three MVPs give a di- very different picture versus yeah, that the watching the games. Or mm, even, fact, even like, like John Havlicek. Like, how many people have really seen, other than Low Mars, maybe Dub up here, have seen more than eight full games of John Dub Havlicek? Hasn't seen John. Yeah, leave leave Dub up. Other than Low Mars, who has seen in the chat? Yeah, exactly. Yeah, but who in this chat has seen more than eight full games of John Havlicek? Eight is crazy. Eight but, he's, but he's eight and oh, what are we talking about? Right, that's what I'm saying. So because of his accolades, you see the all NBA teams, whatever the case be, championships. Definitely watched Jerry West. And, and, I mean, and for his time, he was was he not that good though? Or? No, he was no John Hamilton was. Time, and and it's a time. and before Dub goes again to real talk point. If we kept it relative, then I probably wouldn't have that much of a problem. The problem is that also when we have these awards conversations that people pick and choose when they actually want to care about the awards. So John Havlicek is a perfect example where if you think highly of Scottie Pippen, by default, you would have to think highly of John Havlicek because by default, if you just sit here and just run off the accolades, Havlicek is more accomplished. Than Why do you Pippen have is. to do that though? Not, not if you're informed. I no, no. I, I think you're right. If you're saying blindly doing that, yes. But yeah, if you're informed, yeah. if you're informed about the era and and you know that what you're saying, it was harder for Scotty to be All NBA than John Havlicek to be All NBA. Then no, I don't have to just go off the blind. Um, but, that, but that's my point, though. These people aren't though. That's what I'm saying. The people who just blindly okay. they don't care about which one was more difficult and they put in a context on a year to year. They don't do that. If you're just sitting here just saying the resume, that means that Havlicek would have to be above Scottie Pippen. If that's what you, if that's how you speak basketball, he would have to be. But then when I sit here and bring that up, oh no, I don't, uh, I don't, I don't know.